update to the universal circuit guitar. So, uh, as I already had the back finished, I've had to take pretty good care of it, make sure it doesn't get scratched. I added, I thinned this out right here. It was a little bit thicker and kind of blocky, and then it faded into the thinner neck, but I made it thin all the way down. And, uh, that way you can get maximum playability. Then on the head here, I've got a little design, but this is the part that is new that I wanted to share. Um, see, I've got the circuit design on the other side, and I was going to do the same thing down here on the body, but I decided against it. I had all these plans for some kind of weird decorations, and I thought, nope. I asked my wife, too, and she said, no, keep it simple. So I kept it really simple. And one thing I did do was I put a clear pick guard on here, which is something that... Uh, I have never done before. Lucy, are you squeaking? Are you squeaking, Lucy? You squeaker. You probably want to play, huh? Alright, hold on a sec. So yeah, at the bottom of this, you can see I routed all the way through in the pocket to where it basically mat, you know, meets up with the resin. Well, the same thing happens in both of these pockets. And behind it, it's actually clear. There's actually two areas that you can't tell right now, they're rectangles of light that my thought was that when I mount these in here, they'll be up high enough to where I can put an LED behind them <laughs> and the LED will shine up kind of around the edges and also in the back, out the back and I'm going to put an LED in here which will show the electronics and give kind of a character to it so my hope is that that, uh, yeah, somebody likes it as much as I do What Lucy? What are you doing, girl? Get it. <laughs> I guess I better go play with Lucy. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.